Our next park countdown is Busch Gardens Tampa in Tampa, Florida. This park has more roller coasters than any park in Florida. They have a total of nine roller coasters operating when this video is being made. They're, they are opening their 10th coaster in 2022, Iron Gwazi, so I wasn't able to ride that. I also wasn't able to ride Cobra's Curse since it was closed when I was there. So I will not be adding that onto the list. So let's start the countdown. Taking last place at number 8 is Air Grover, and this is a ride that's meant for kids. It's basically the, the same ride at SeaWorld Orlando, and I'm sure the kids will like this. Taking number 7 is Sand Serpent. This is a wild mouse. This is basically just like any wild mouse. They're tame, their restraints are bad, and you basically ride these for the credit and don't bother unless you really like them. And Taking number 6 is Scorpion. This is a Schwarzkopf Silver Arrow. Honestly, besides the vertical loop, this ride doesn't have anything special. This is a ride more meant for families. It's a nice way for kids to experience a loop if they haven't gone upside down on a roller coaster yet. Starting the top five is Tigris, one of the newest roller coasters in the park. This is a premier ride Skyrocket 2. This was fun and thrilling, but I wish the ride didn't have the comfort collars. It did ruin the ride experience a little bit, and I'm so used to riding Phobia, which doesn't have the comfort collars. The ride was smooth since it, it's only a few years old. I just wish it didn't have those comfort collars. Ticket number four is Kumba. This is the B&M sit-down in the park. This ride is still good for being almost 30 years old. This is one of the one of B&M's older rides. I think it's very intense. It packs element after element. It does have some rough spots since it's almost 30 years old, but I love how it's intense. Starting out the top three is Shikra, the B&M dive at the park. I do actually like this over Valraven. It has a good and forceful drop. It's smooth. The splashdown is very nice, especially for anyone standing next to it so they can beat the Florida heat. This is a great ride. Taking my number two is Cheetah Hunt. Intamin doesn't disappoint, especially for a ride that's more towards families. I do think this is more of a family-sized version of Maverick or Velocicoaster. It has, it has a great launch. It has some intense elements and transitions. It does only have one inversion. It's mostly a smooth ride with a few rough spots, but I do wish the ride had the softer Intamin restraints that you see on Stormrunner and Fahrenheit, but overall, it, it was a great ride. What's coming in at my number one spot? Taking my number one is Montu, the park's B&M invert. This ride never disappoints. It's my favorite B&M invert that I've ridden. It's very intense, smooth ride, and it's overall a great ride. So that'll do it for my top eight roller coasters at Busch Gardens Tampa. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree and form your own list. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. Subscribe for more Coastermonium videos, and I'll catch you guys later.